Uh, battle mode changes. Let's look at those first. See full patch notes. That's what I was getting at. Uh, I I should be able to sign in, yeah. Yeah, sign in, please. Bethesda.net. Yes, plug me in. Sweet. Okay, all right. July 16th battle mode update. Okay. Nope from the devs. More updates, more balance tweaks, more support for the mode incoming. The incredible skills on display in Friday Night Fights is a shining example of the deep strategy that is required to excel at the highest level in battle mode. We are blown away by the passionate community that has formed around this unique and competitive mode. We are just as dedicated as you are. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm really bad at reading things, and this is the first time I've read it, so just hang in there. Uh, and there is much more to come for the mode over the next year. We can't wait to share more info on dates with you as we finalize them. Know that we are hard at work on DLC, a ranked mode for battle mode, a new playable demon, more polished to lag and performance and continued refinement to overall game balance to our competitive experience. This week is a part one of a, it's part one of a two part update to help rebalance the power between slayers and demons. Right now the flare, the slayer is feeling too weak, more so on console. Thank you. I agree. I agree. Okay, in time matches. In general, bugs, balance updates, lag improvements are the primary reason for the current shift in the game balance towards the demons. Most importantly, the hit registration bug that some of you have reported should have should be fully addressed with this update. So we'll see what that is when we get there, which will be a huge boost to slayers. The following week will bring even more updates to the game with an adjustment to mid-round upgrades meant to balance the mode throughout all five rounds as the demons also have the advantage here with abilities like Team Heal and Resurrection. Yeah, that's pretty nuts, isn't it? Thinking about it, like, those are pretty powerful. Uh, they're really good, but... And I, I can't... To, to an extent, I feel like the, the Slayers gets a little bit of the short end of the stick there, so we'll see what happens. But uh, Slayers can also look to see their quick switching combos to get, get a return to day one balance. Oh... Switching combos get a return to day one balance in an upcoming update, along with a rebalance of to the power of certain weapons to account for the increased DPS that will return to the mode. The feedback we have gotten is that the mode feels better from the demon's perspective, I agree, and the strategy has increased on both sides, but the Slayer would like the responsiveness of his quick switch combos back. We agree, and the game will feel faster, but the balance will remain intact. This is a lot of reading for me, so you have to bear with me. And this is the first time I've read it, so just hang tight. This is the last, last one, and then we'll get into the actual patch notes here. From all of us at id, thank you again for your dedication to our mode. We are focused on making battle mode everything it can be and fleshing out the multiplayer component to internal even further as development continues at our studio. The Friday Night Fights Invitational Series this month continues to be amazing, and it's only the beginning of what can become a focused and intense competitive series in the future. Battle Mode is fun to watch and play, and there's so much to learn and master. You, the fans, are helping us make the experience better, and we look forward to getting you more updates as soon as we have them ready. And that's Hugo Martin, if you haven't read this already. Um... Balance changes for all platforms. Looks like we're starting with the Revenant. Rocket Barrage. Uh, ability cooldown decreased from 30 seconds to 18 seconds. Okay. That's not bad. I feel like that's okay. 30 seconds is a long time for that. Uh, self damage scale decreased from 5 to 0.5. Interesting. I don't think I noticed that as much, but. Direct damage in for each rocket increased from 1 to 3. That's fair. And then max splash damage decreased from 6 to 4. See, that that makes sense. Okay. Why was the splash damage so much higher than a direct hit? 
Oh, it balances out, though, because... I feel like a direct hit gives you max splash damage. I'm not an expert here, but it still equals out to 7 total damage, and so it... Maybe they could take a direct hit and dash, and then they don't get hit by max splash. I don't know how that works. I don't know the factor. Minimum splash damage from 4 to 2. So you can have a minimum of 5. It's 5 to 7 damage. No, it's 2 to 7 damage. Okay, slightly increased the ability's hit radius. Okay. Um... Unstable trigger upgrade. Uh, ability cooldown decrease from 30 seconds to 15 seconds. Uh, loadouts. I, I'll be honest, I didn't even notice that they were that long. I haven't, I've, I've just recently been playing a lot of it, but uh, I haven't noticed that they were that long. Maybe I have a couple of times where I go to use it, but, you know. Uh, so, action set defensive. Uh, haste is replaced with armored. That makes sense, uh, to be honest. Uh, haste... Haste, to me, is more of an aggressive thing. Uh, I mean, you can use it to, like, put some distance between you and, and the Slayer, but... I, I don't think it fits with the defensive, but I, I have to look. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, defensive skill set. We should be able to... Or, look at the skill sets here. And we don't really even have to do anything crazy, right? So this is uh, Revenant. I wish they gave us... Uh, information, but that's fine. Actions. Defensive has armored and offensive has haste. So, yeah, defense, oh. This is Revenant though, right? Thank you. Thank you for switching that so that I knew what I was talking about. Yeah, it makes sense. I think it makes sense for haste to be on the aggressive one. I think so. I think that's a good change. Was haste on both, though? Why w I don't... Huh. I think haste has good back and forth, but... Okay, that's the Revenant. Uh, the Slayer. <laughs> uh, heavy damage. Increased base fire damage from 65 to 80. So, okay, that's nice. Increased base fire damage for the Plasma Rifle from 30 to 45. All right. Um, that's not bad, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Maybe they get more into the quick switching stuff for the PC, and we'll still go over that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna. I'm not an elitist here. Uh, all uh, AI demons. All player spawned AI demons damage has been reduced by roughly 15%. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess if they had them at full damage, it would it would be basically throwing you into a nightmare game with uh with two player controlled demons. That sounds like a blast. That would, I mean, I'm looking forward to invasion mode. Don't get me wrong, but that's that would be wild. Okay, uh, for PC only, pain elemental, and now I don't have any frame of reference for this, so I'm just gonna read through it. But like, we'll just go over it anyway. Uh, ability cooldown increase from 4 seconds to 5 seconds. Okay, on the soul shield, by the way. Ability duration decrease from 4 to 3.5. My question is, from a balance perspective, I think, I, I don't know, so somebody's got to tell me. I'm sure somebody will at some point when they see this. But, uh, I just got to know. Is it really, um, is it necessary to nerf the duration? I know it's only half a second if you're going to increase the cooldown. Um, because if you think about it, I, and I'm not sure if I'm even thinking about this in the right way, but it adds, it's like you don't get to use it as often and it doesn't last as long. So does that make it too weak? Could we have kept the duration and kept the increased cooldown? Could we have 
decreased the duration and kept the cooldown? That's the question. I don't, I'm not sure, like I said, and I'm not an expert on any of this stuff, but I'm thinking like, I'm sure, but I'm also sure that they put plenty of testing into this as well, so maybe me questioning it doesn't even make sense, but I'm just curious. Uh, Pan Elemental for console. Ability cooldown increased from 5 seconds to 6 seconds on the Soul Shield. Well, console's a little bit more difficult, so that's fine. But, like, this is this is what I was talking about, right? They didn't take down the duration. Um, and I'm, I'm imagining that on PC that the Slayer is actually pretty wild to play against. If you get a good Slayer. So I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna dawdle around that too much, but this is kind of what I was talking about. They didn't nerf the duration here. They just nerfed the cooldown. But it makes sense because it's a little bit more difficult on console. Uh, known issues. So I guess that's the end. I, that's the end of all of the patch notes. Revenants, Revenants unstable trigger upgrade. Current description states your rocket barrage ability refreshes three seconds quicker and shoots with more rockets. This is inconsistent with the in-game behavior after the latest battle mode balance changes. Okay. Uh, we would have to play some. And I don't want to lag anybody out, so we probably won't. Maybe I'll put some stuff up later. Uh, Revenant's uh, Acrobat upgrade. Uh, current description states your jetpack has 40% more capacity, recharges one second sooner after touching the ground, and Afterburner no longer has a penalty for running out of fuel. This is inconsistent with uh, demonic uh, onslaught power upgrade. Uh, we're just going over it. I'm assuming uh, increases your damage output by 25% for 10 seconds. This is inconsistent with in-game behavior after the latest battle mode. Okay, no armored buff status message will appear when this is activated. Uh, again, I do not know about that because I I guess I haven't noticed but I, I the times I have played the Revenant I will say that I was a little underwhelmed but I usually just stick with uh, oh, we're still going right I hope we caught that oh it's because my internet went out on my computer Surely we 